All new at 5.30, it's the state's job to hold retailers accountable for overcharging customers. Well, each year, the Standards Division tours the state looking for a price scanner errors at major retailers, grocery stores, and gas stations. As Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young found out, some customers in Charlotte are still paying more. How often do you examine your receipt after checkout? Not as often as I should. But really? Pretty much never. Following a dramatic increase of price scanning errors across the state, the North Carolina Standards Division says you should be. For sure. I will start checking my prices for now more. Over the last year, the department has seen 26% of price scanning inspections fail. That's at self checkouts and service lines. It really surprised me because it, it was a big jump. I think we were maintaining maybe about three or four percent before that. And of course, it jumped up to almost, you know, 25 percent there. So. It, it, but that's what my inspectors are finding. Last month, 70 stores across the state were forced to pay fines for overcharging customers. Nine are located in Mecklenburg County, Walmart's, Sam's Club, and Dollar General. This family dollar in North Charlotte paid the highest fine, $5,000. An inspection back in October found an error rate of 15%. According to the state, the store has also failed two previous inspections. We went there to find out. We picked out three different items from different parts of the store and took pictures of how much they cost. After checking out, we then compared their sticker price to how much we paid at the cash register. We were overcharged for two of the three items that we bought. I think it's just appalling. It's not good policy. It's not good practice. And we as a consumer slash customer, we need to be charged the correct amount and not overcharge. I absolutely will be checking my receipts from now on. That was Taylor Young reporting to see if you were potentially a victim of these overcharging stores. Head to our website, qcnews.com, and click on this story to see a full list of offenders.